Next example. We have something raised to the third power. Ugh, we didn't like these. We like quadratics when they're into the second power, right? But we did talk about this to the third power. We talked about this in chapter two. How can you factor when something's raised up to the third power? Well, first thing we can look at is just factoring out that x. And can I factor out an x from every single term? Yeah. Yes. So I factor out an x. Oh, great. That leaves me with a quadratic. I'm much more familiar with factoring quadratics than I am with when they're raised to the third power. The denominator is a difference of two squares. And now we just got to see what two numbers multiply to give me a negative 21, add to give me a 7. I think of all the numbers multiply to give me a negative 21. The most common, I think, is 7 and 3. And I say, oh, they do have a difference of 4. So which one should be negative, the 7 or the 3? Well, the middle term needs to be positive. So therefore, I want the 3 to be the negative, the 7 to be positive. So let's factor this out completely. Okay, so again, I see that my two discontinuities, my discontinuities are um, x equals 7, because x equals 7 makes the whole denominator 0, and x equals, um, x equals negative 7, because that's going to make the denominator 0. Add x equals 7, which makes that 0, that is going to be my asymptote, because it doesn't divide out. However, x plus 7 is in the numerator and the denominator, so that is my whole. Do you guys kind of see how the difference, how we can quickly find asymptotes and holes, factoring, and then breaking? Yes? What would you do with the numerator? Well, so the numerator is going to be left. I haven't simplified this yet. So the numerator is x times x minus 3 all over x minus 7. Yeah. I mean, you could multiply the x if you wanted to, but it doesn't really matter. We're just looking for discontinuities and then the right to the domain. Well, the domain is all real numbers except for our two discontinuities. So it's going to be negative infinity to negative 7, union 7 to 7, or negative 7 to 7, union 7 to infinity. Okay. All right. Um, 